In my most recent video request, somebody was asking me, how can I stop clenching my jaw? Uh, anybody who clenches their jaw, that can be, uh, it can complicate TMJ problems. So if you got jaw, TMJ, clicking and things like that, it can complicate it, make it worse or make it more challenging to recover. Uh, people with tension headaches, jaw clenching, not only do you use the muscles in here, but these muscles in here are always activated, so it can exacerbate tension headaches. Uh, and then the same thing for neck pain, chronic neck pain, neck tension, and things like that. Jaw clenching can aggravate that. So in this video, I am going to go over three strategies that I've found to be very beneficial to help people not clench their jaw or have that bruxism. So strategy number one that I want to talk about when somebody clenches their jaw, mainly they're using muscles right here. They're called masseter muscles. If you clench your jaw and put your fingers right here, you'll feel it get tight. Put your finger up here. They're called temporalis muscles. Those are tight. What we want to do is try to neurologically get those muscles to not fire quite so much and use some other muscles called digastric muscles and they're down in through here. So there's a couple of strategies that we have to do that. First, and let's talk about just what's the natural resting position of the jaw. The lips should be closed. Your teeth should be slightly apart. Don't let your teeth touch. And the tongue should just be resting in the roof of the mouth. That's the natural resting jaw position. So one strategy could be tune in, check in every once in a while. Are you in that position? Just be conscious of, oh shoot, you, you try to break that habit. So just check in with yourself uh, and do it. Now here's a, an added trick, an added little feature that you can do. So you take the tip of your tongue and you're gonna curl it up so that the tip of the tongue thrusts up into the roof of your mouth, that hard bony structure right there in the roof of your mouth. You do that. Feel these muscles on the undersurface of your jaw right here. And when you thrust that tongue up, you should feel this tighten up. So some people, it is beneficial just to do some exercises like that. Do three sets of 10. Uh, you could probably get away with just doing a set or two sets uh, of five to 10. But the idea is just break the pattern of this clenching all the time and try to get the opposite muscles engaged. You're gonna get the nervous system to kind of unwind that tension pattern, use some other muscles, use the opposite muscles, or they're called the antagonistic muscles. You can go another step further, and I should also mention, you wanna do all of these with fairly good neck posture. Don't do them out here. So kind of be up tall through your mid-back. You don't have to over-exaggerate it necessarily, but if you have bad neck posture, I've talked about in other videos, Go ahead and over-exaggerate good neck posture for about five seconds and then come out of it. You want to be relaxed. And then the next thing that you could do is take the tip of the tongue, just like you did before, put it in the roof of the mouth. And this time you're not going to thrust it so much. You're just going to leave it in contact there, but you're going to open your jaw. And keep that tip of the tongue in place. That's going to allow you to use more of these muscles in here. Again, neurologically, you're going to use these muscles less and you're gonna to try to break that pattern or that cycle. And over time, you checking in periodically, doing the proper rest position of the jaw, meaning don't let your uh, teeth touch each other. And if you consistently do some of these types of exercises, you can slowly unwind that pattern. Um, also, additionally, give yourself little massages in here. These muscles are clenching all the time. Try to relax them. You know self little massages, go to a massage therapist, go to a chiropractor that does myofascial release, anything like that. Um, but work the, work the tense spots out, all the little trigger points that you're gonna have through all of those muscles and through there. Um, a lot of times bruxism is linked to some form of anxiety, stress. So having good strategies, I am not a therapist and I'm not here to uh, try to discuss all of the options there, uh, but things like, Sometimes things as simple as journaling, you know, just getting your thoughts out, having a good action strategy, meaning, purpose in your life. There's a whole world 
Um, but those are things to look into. Uh, and then lastly, something that I'm extremely interested in uh, to control the stress and anxiety uh, that works well for myself are breathing techniques. Uh, there is an entire world of breathing techniques, but I'll point you in the direction uh, of a couple that work well. One is called Buteco uh, breathing method. And the idea is to practice breath holds. Uh, what they'll do is just some nice gentle breathing. They don't do a lot of the, you know, they say that that winds up the stress response. Some people will argue if you wind up the stress response enough that you're going to kind of trip a circuit in a way and then you'll, you'll calm down after that. But there, there are a lot of breathing techniques that you could practice. And again, Buteco is one of those breathing techniques where you calm your breathing. Meditation could be one. Just relax, tune in, mindfulness, diaphragmatic breathing, and then practice some breath holds. And they'll hold their breath for 30 seconds, even up to 60 seconds uh, at a time. And there are proven benefits to stress reduction through these types of breathing techniques and through meditation. So there's three strategies for you right there. If you have bruxism, if you're clinching and it's exacerbating TMJ problems, neck pain, uh, tension, headaches, there are three really good strategies to help you out. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Uh, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Uh, like our page if you found this video useful. And if you have a video request, let me know in the comments below as well. And I'd be happy to make you a video.